guys and welcome back to another video here with crafty mama if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back um what i'm gonna do today is i am going to show you guys how i make these bonnets sublimate the bonnets um i ordered them from a lady from one of the craft groups i'm in i can't remember her name but um i will make sure i link her website down in the description box i do know that right now she's out of bonnets um so i'm working with somebody else right now to get a couple more bonnets they're making them she's making them for me so if those turn out good i will give you guys her information as well um but this is just a plain white satin bonnet that i sublimated on it's not reversible so this is the inside and then this is the outside it's just a one layer bonnet um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I did this today. Um, so go ahead and stick around. <clears throat> so I'm going to just jump right into it. Here is the regular, um, white satin bonnet. They come blank. Like I said, I will put her information down in the description box for you guys to let you order it. I know she's out of stock right now. Um, so maybe when she gets back in stock, you'll be able to um order some i do have the adult size adult sized uh bonnet i have box braids right now and um they fit over my box braids perfectly so it's a pretty decent size what i'm doing now is i'm just going to cut off some butcher paper that I have I got it from Amazon I just typed in butcher paper and I think I picked maybe the first one that popped up I'm gonna cut off a sheet and I'm gonna stick it on the inside of the bonnet I'm gonna cut off another sheet and do the same thing I put two in there to make sure it's nice and secure fold it and put it on the inside and this is so that it doesn't bleed to this outer side here when I press it okay and then I flip it over there's a natural crease here on the bonnet um, that's how it already came. I haven't pressed it at all or anything yet. So I just kind of follow the natural crease that it already had. And where I'm going to place the image. <clears throat> Here's the image that I have. The size that I use, if you get the same bonnet is, that I have, the size of this is a 10 by 10. And then um, I printed it from a uh, silhouette. I don't have a silhouette cameo, but I just print from silhouette when I want to print bigger. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that this is spread out. The paper that's on the inside. And then I'm going to take my image and put it face down here. I'm not going to tape it just because it's only one large piece of paper, so... I'm not worried about it moving. Just gonna push it down. And then I'm gonna get another sheet of butcher paper and put it right on top. Um, <clears throat> my heat press is already set to 400 degrees and we are going to press this for 60 seconds. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and close this and I will come back in 60 seconds. All right, guys, it has been just about a minute here. My timer will be going off in a couple of seconds. Alrighty. And if you know anything about subbing on 400 degrees, you know that it is hot. I just burned my finger. And there it is. 
bring you guys in so you can see it. The colors are absolutely popping. I'm taking these to a vendor event I'm doing this weekend. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of these. Well, not a bunch because I only ordered 10. But I'm going to be taking all 10 with me. I'm doing several different images on the 10 that I have. <clears throat> but here it is colors are popping now um i do use the epson 7720 for my sublimation printer if you are interested in what settings i use my very first sublimation video the one that i did sublimation for beginners i show you guys the settings um of my printer when i'm printing out so go check out my first video again it's called sublimation for beginners um it's like a couple maybe two or three videos back and uh i show you guys my settings in that video i'll put a card too up probably somewhere either up here or, or up here it'll be a card for that video but yeah if you guys have any questions comments concerns go ahead and drop them down below let me know any video ideas you guys have don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff until next time peace